Hey fans, Michael Hunter here, and right now I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Jet Set Radio HD, which looks really cool because this is a very cool game. So yeah, let's get into this thing, and um, this is my first playthrough on the Mike Lee Games channel, so hope you all enjoy this. And yeah, we're getting past these loading screens and saving and all that, and in a second we'll be able to check out what kind of features are on here. Jet Set Radio! Yay! Jet Set Radio! Awesome. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay, press start. Okay, so we have new game, load, tutorial, trophies, leaderboards, help and options, and bonus. Let's see what's in bonus real quick before we get into things. Okay, so we have a Jet Set Radio documentary, which is pretty cool. And, uh, looks like this is a bunch of names of music that's on here, so I guess, uh, that's kind of like a soundtrack that's on here that you can listen to. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the actual game. Alright, so start a new game right here. And wait for it to load. And I'll try not to Somewhere talk Asia, much on parts like this, so I'll shut up now. Yeah. Map calls Tokyo -to, but everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo -to are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates powered by newly developed Netrium batteries and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station manned by the DJ Professor K that plays nothing but non-stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy's by the people of Tokyo -to. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkaka Group, combined their efforts to co-found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyo -to have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudies have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo To are ready to explode. Alrighty, so yeah, we're about to get into this thing. I'm pretty excited. I love this game. Um, I got into it late on the Dreamcast. It's actually a game that I always wanted on the Dreamcast, but never actually got it until I rebought the Dreamcast much later on, and then I finally got a chance to buy it. So I played through the Dreamcast version, not completely, but. This will be like my first time actually completing the game this time. But uh, I've enjoyed what I've played of it and it's very unique. I love the gameplay style and it's a nice fresh idea. So right now I'm supposed to copy whatever it is she just did. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and copy what she just did. And already I'm liking this a lot better than the Dreamcast controller. Controls are still kind of odd sometimes. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Got a little cough here. Still, that cough needs to just go away. Sweet, try this next run. If you pull the L2, wow, is it actually a different button? Alright, let's see what kind of challenge she has for us. So I guess right now we're just watching her do her thing while we copy and paste whatever it is that she just did. So, and that looked pretty easy. Just grind in a straight line. Which is what we're doing right now. And, yeah, that was very easy to do. Of course, not in real life. That would not be easy to do at all. But since this is like a cartoony game, they made it look extremely easy. And Sonic also makes it look easy too, and I don't even know how he does it with his shoes. That's like insane. But uh... Alright, so now we're going to tag some of these vehicles, like what she's doing. Vandalism! Which is encouraged in this game, but actually it does have a disclaimer at the beginning, so don't do vandalism. It's bad. It's very bad, so don't do it. You'll go to jail and it- plus, people don't want you to vandalize their stuff. That would be mean and rude and... It's just- just uncalled for. So just leave it to games like this. Don't do it in real life. 
Okay, wait a minute. What did she just... What all did she just do? I kind of... Okay, yes. Right there, right there. Okay, that was close. I almost forgot what I was supposed to do. That would have been bad. Yay, and she joined me. She's, she's cool for that. She's good people. She actually decided to join me. And be my friend. Not bad. I guess you get... I guess I can join you. Okay, so, yeah, she's joining me. So I can pick her whenever I want now. And now we... Uh, we have Tab here, who is going to show us some some skills to see if I can copy him. Wow, he just said "fat" as a slang. Wow, that was that's old, very old. How many people actually say that now? Okay, that looks easy enough. I bet the uh, PlayStation 3 analog stick will be a lot easier to use for things like this. Okay, let's test it out. Wow, that's a, that's a lot better. So yeah, just from that alone, I'm really liking this port. Honestly, the Dreamcast controller, uh, it's, it's a nice design, but there's a certain things like the D-pad, it's not good for fi- ah. <clears throat> Excuse me, something weird happened to my throat there. Okay, yeah, but the deep bad is just not all that great for fighting games, and the uh, control stick is kind of weird for, like, placing graffiti at places. Unless it's just the controller that I have. I don't really know, but all I know is that it's much better on the PlayStation 3. So I'm really enjoying the controls a lot more on here. And, of course, the higher resolution is very nice. So let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna get off, get these four spray cans, and then go back down the hill and do something else. Let's see what he does. This one's kinda long. There we go. So I have to get on that rail and then spray that wall. Which doesn't look like a problem. Let's see if I can do this without getting hit by a car. There we go. I refreshed myself a little bit of, of uh, the tutorial mode a little bit like the night before this came out on the Dreamcast version. So, so just mainly so I can do this smoothly for you guys. So I don't look like I'm super lost and stuff like that. So I got those. And oh snap! That was painful. And I shouldn't have gotten up that quick, but I, mean, I guess it wasn't that bad of an impact because these cars do kind of look like they're going slow. So let's go down here and there we go. There's the wall. There we go. Did it. Completed that one. Let's see if uh, he has something else for us to do. But yeah, one of my favorite things about this game is definitely the music. The music is awesome. I listen to it a lot because it's epic. That's like one of the main things that stand out in this game to a lot of people is the music. Because it's just so funky. It's, I guess that's the best word to use because a lot of music, a lot of the song tracks actually have like funk in it. Because it's funky. But the good kind of funk. Yeah, I'm really liking the controls a lot more. I know I already said that, but yeah, the controls just make a huge difference. Especially right after playing the Dreamcast version yesterday. So... Oh, he thinks I'm cool. Okay, so listen up, bullets can't touch you when you're dashing, got it? Okay, so just, if somebody has a gun, dash, I guess that's what he's trying to say. Okay, let's listen to whatever this DJ has to say right here. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pirate power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood, through the streets, and right into your brain! We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're riding high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Just wow. Radio. His mouth. It's insane. 
is huge. Three gangs are fighting for the Tokyo streets. In the west, from Benton Cho, the city of the night, we got those high-tech maniacs, those man machines, the noise tanks. And in the east, from Kogane Cho, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy monster mask wearing gang, boys in jail. And from Shibuya Cho in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the GG's. The GG's home turf, Shibuya Cho was just a tap. Was it poison jam? They were talking about spreading out there. Or maybe it was the noise tank, trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order. The Satsu bracelet's all ready for you. So, get yourselves to the bathroom and brush those teeth, boys and girls, because a whole load of trouble is heading your way. Okay, he was spitting. He was talking so loud and obnoxiously. I feel uncomfortable now. I need, a, I need something to wipe my face off. But okay, so we're loading right here. Chapter 1, GG. Okay, so, yeah, that's, huh, I'm trying to think of if I should just continue it or just stop right here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop right here to leave you all in suspense. So, yeah, um, if you want to see more, subscribe and wait for part two to come out to see what ends up happening next and to see more of the playthrough. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and if you want to see more playthroughs, more game-related videos, be sure to subscribe, because I got a lot more coming, and I'm going to be doing even more new games as soon as they come out. So yeah, be sure to subscribe, and like the video, support it, share it, and all that good stuff. This is Mike Lee Games, and I will see you guys next time.